In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how you delete products in bulk from your Amazon catalog. So the first thing you need to do is download something called a feed file. If you go to catalog and then add products via upload, and then download your inventory file, the file you want is at the bottom here under inventory files, and you want to download the inventory loader. So if we just download the inventory loader file, the inventory loader file is an Excel spreadsheet, which looks like this. We have a number of different columns. This file can also be used for doing things like amending quantities, amending conditions, changing the prices. But in this case, we just want to delete products. So the only two columns we need are the SKU and add delete. The SKU is the stock number that you gave your product when it was created in your Amazon catalog. So if we go back into Amazon and we go to inventory and manage inventory, it's this number here, the SKU. So we have a list of SKUs we want to delete. I'm just going to call it SKU1, SKU2, etc. And then we want to delete these SKUs here. We simply need to put an X in the Add Delete column. And when that is uploaded into Amazon, it'll delete the SKUs in the catalog which are in this list. In order to upload this file to Amazon, it needs to be saved as a tab delimited text file. Tab delimited text files do not support multiple tabs, so we need to delete these tabs first. And then do File, and then Save As, and then More Options, and then Save as a text tab delimited text file. So let's do Save, give it a name, Delete, and this text tab delimited. Moving back to Amazon, we need to upload a file. We need to go into Add Products File Upload, and then we need to click on the Upload Your Inventory file, and then upload the file here. Once the file is uploaded, you can then monitor the, monitor the upload from the upload status, and you will see any errors appearing here. If you get stuck filling in the file, there is an Instructions tab and a Data def Definitions tab in the Inventory Loader file itself. If we're just using this file to delete items, there's only two columns you need to fill in, and so there is a limited scope for making errors. But if you do make errors, check if the file is in the right format, check if you put an X in the right column, check that the SKUs are the actual SKUs you're using. Finally, bear in mind that each Amazon site is treated differently, so if you, want to, if you have the same product on multiple Amazon sites, for example, Amazon UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, you will need to upload the file into every site and you can actually use the same file.